Hi everyone, this video is a part of our Fox.Online Online Jitsi meetup. I'll be talking about uh, how to send messages from Opets, uh, yeah, from Fox Dot to VCVRAC and Hydra through Open Sound Control. For those of you who are not familiar with uh, Open Sound Control, it's basically a set of rules for different uh, multimedia devices to communicate between each other like a MIDI but on steroids uh, so yeah it, it's really a nice thing I've discovered it pretty recently and I really like it you can do you can use it to synchronize your music with uh, any type of programs or physical devices it's really great uh, first I'll, uh <coughs> I'll start with the CV rec example uh, you'll need some open sound control uh, capable module. In my case, this is Trovosoft CVOS CCV. It's a free module. You can find it on the CVREC library. In, in the it's basically the first module that I've uh, found and it gets the job done. It, uh, it's, it's okay. Maybe there are some better modules, but it's okay. Uh, as you can see, there is no audio interface because I've got some problems playing audio when my jack client is running. So you'll not hear the VCVRX sound, but you'll see the visualization of it. Uh, but that's not an issue. You should not have those problems, I think, unless you tamper with jack. Uh, yeah, uh, so next thing you need to know is that you can just forward messages to this module because Fox dot bundles them in this format so it's basically a, uh, an array of uh, attributes uh, well first you have uh, this one is a constant it's always uh, s uh, underscore new then you have a name of the scene there for a sample player then you have some garbage and then you have a well not garbage I think it's used for uh, something and means something but I, I, I don't use it and uh, what we need actually is our parameters like uh, fox dot attributes uh, sample rate uh, amplitude bend whatever uh, so what uh, so vcvrec cannot receive this uh, array because he doesn't know anything about it so we need to help him uh, by decoding those messages i've made a simple script that uses Python OSC module to receive messages from Fox dot decode them take some attributes from them and send uh, send it to the server addresses that I've defined as you can see here those are addresses you can uh, you can change them as you wish in my case this is uh, it's just kick and hi-hat so uh, this program it receives a message it uh, I've made it to work only with sample players but you can use any scene devs here so it receives a sample player strips some um, parameters from from the beginning parses it into arguments dictionary so then you can use it like like this and depending on the sample number it either sends message to the kick address or to hi-hat address so to trigger kick we need to to have a sample player with sample number zero and to trigger hi hat sample number one, so uh, yeah, you, you actually you this is the part which you will most probably need to change for your purposes, but for MVP it's okay. So uh, first of all, we run this uh, um, script. Uh, so the server is uh, serving on 7001. I mean, listen, sorry, listening. That's so it's it's listening for Fox dot messages on 7001, decodes them, sends to 7002. So in this rack, you click config, make sure the port is correct where we will receive the messages. You click enable. It should be working now. Now in Fox do in Fox dot you. First, you add forward to server to your proxy server. In my case, seven zero zero one. So, uh, and then you just run uh, some players uh, with sample zero to trigger the this kick synthesizer and sample one to trigger the hi hat synthesizer or sampler. Uh, so yeah, you'll now you'll hear 
sound from Fox Dot, not from VCV Rack, as I've explained before. But uh, in fact, you can sequence VCV Rack from Fox Dot without even running Super Collider, uh, or you can run both. VCV Rack is great for doing background sounds like background textures, drones, and Fox Dot is not particularly good at it. So let me show you. So you can see the kick drum really, like the sample zero really triggers the kick drum. And uh, here in hi hat, it basically the same. The difference is that it's off beat and uh, that it also has the changing rate parameter. Uh, as I've shown you, I send the rate parameter as a value. So uh, this uh, no, value of hi hat is wired to the to this colored module so it will change uh, color when it receives a different uh, voltage so so yeah as you see you can trigger mm, you can receive trigger inputs you can receive uh, voltage inputs so you can basically control everything in vcv rack using this <coughs> yeah i think this is it for vcv rack Thanks for the idea to Nikolai from Fox.Grow. He, he told me he was using tidal cycles to send open sound control messages to his physic physical devices, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah, and uh, this is it. So let's move to Hydra. Uh, <coughs> um, yeah, so the principle stays the same. You have a port where, where you receive messages. You have a fox dot object that uh, will look like this after all the messages are parsed so you can then just use it in, in your hydra code uh, so let's initial let's set the port initialize an empty object then run this function it's basically the same as uh, in previous example uh, but uh, it instead of player object it receives uh, open sound control messages from hydra synth it's a custom dummy synth dev that does not output any sound it uh, it's basically this it's an empty synth dev that only has uh, those nice um, hydra like parameters uh, named after hydra functions so uh, this whole purpose of this synth dev is to use uh, is to control hydra with it it was actually a copy paste of the video in depth of crash servers. Uh, they inspired me to do this because I've s uh, I've seen this uh, they um, their uh, performance where they used uh, videos in depth to control uh, visuals, and so I've just copied it, uh, added some Hydra attributes, and uh, this is it. I've actually forgot even to change this uh, uh, this parameter, but it works nevertheless for some reason okay so hopefully this will not crash uh, let me f first we need to oh I first we need to run hydro of course then you initialize all this stuff then you add forward to you uh, fro uh, you need to forward your open sound control messages from VCV rec to hydra so we execute this line then we create a Hydra mm, syndef uh, that will have changing sam sample attribute from three to four. Now, uh, let's have, this is a simple shape, okay? Uh, if we want to use um, uh, value from our fox dot syndef, uh, it's not enough to write fox dot dot sample because as you see, I need to resubmit uh, the code every time for it to change. So you need to use the arrow function for this. As you can see now, it's changing uh, automatically. The duration uh, works by default because uh, Hydra receives open sound control messages every time the sample is triggered. If the sample has, this, this is something I found that if the sample has M volume or amplitude of zero this uh, open sound control message stops 
ascending so you can just stop it like this okay this is pretty much it uh, if you have any questions feel free to reach uh, on me on, on telegram this is my telegram handle also we have a telegram group full of life coders nice people who will always help you with whatever question you have we also so we basically hang out there talk about life coding and uh, occasionally play collaborative uh, jam sessions in troop so feel free to join and uh, now uh, not sure if i have any time left feel free to close this uh, but uh, what i'm gonna do now is to uh, run some music and run some fox dot uh, oh, sorry hydra code that i've prepared before some geometric visuals so you can see like a short demo of you what of what you can do with this uh, I, I think there's there's a lot of you who are much more familiar with hydra than me but mm, i like geometric visuals so <laughs> yeah hopefully it will not crash oh okay no it will crash it will crash and uh, i'm not gonna let it crash because sometimes i can't even relaunch it so what is gonna be the problem now if i run this piece of code it's gonna crash immediately bef because my hydra in dev does not have all the parameters that i use here for example rotate scroll escalate color yeah it doesn't have rotate for nah, no it has scroll x it doesn't have scroll x so it will crash uh so this is where you need to be careful you either have to remember sorry um you either have to remember which attributes you used here uh, just uh, yeah either remember or the other option is <laughs> always do something like this like default default parameter or the best way is actually i think to write uh, uh, a more foolproof code so a smarter object that will not al al that, that will always get you some default value when you uh, make a typo or get something that's not there uh, so yeah well this is the mvp but I, i'm pretty sure it's improvable in this sense okay so now i'll just run some music and show you the visuals i like how reactive they are how instant the feedback is and i think for live performances it's really great
as I said, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me on Telegram. Uh, I think I'll send all those li all those links uh, to in the video description or maybe in chat window in, in the video description. So you can just copy paste this. Uh, where is it? You just co can copy paste my code and uh, make sure it's working for you and hack on it, improve it as you wish. So yeah, this is it. Thanks for watching and uh, see you later.